The Counts of Celje were one of the most successful and influential families residing in the territory of present-day Slovenia. The dynasty began its ascent as the Lords of Žonek. After moving to town, they were elevated to the rank of Counts. They persistently spread their power over the European territory and reached their peak during the reign of Hermann II, who led the dynasty to the rank of the Princess of the Holy Roman Empire. His son, Friedrich II, bestowed town privileges upon the town of Celje in April 1451. Celebration of that event is held each year on the 11th of April. They boosted their influence by means of a formidable mercenary army, by trade and through marriages. One event that truly triggered their rise was the Battle of Nicopolis in 1396, when Count Hermann II of Celje saved the life of Sigismund of Luxembourg, who would go on to become Hermann's son-in-law and German king. Elevation to the rank of the princes brought changes to the status of the territory they ruled. It became a princedom. The pursuit of even greater power by Hermann's grandson, Ulrich II, would only lead to a tragic end for the family. Ulrich II was murdered treacherously in 1456 while on a military expedition. Their territory was inherited by the Habsburg dynasty. The Celia dynasty had much to thank for to their shrewd choice of marriages. Perhaps the most important one was that of Hermann's daughter Barbara, who was wedded to Sigismund of Luxembourg, the future German king. Barbara became the queen of Bohemia in Germany. Her brother, Friedrich II, however, disregarded the political interests of the family. He is believed to have killed his wife, Elisabeth of Frankopan, in order to marry his true love, Veronica of the Senice. But his father, Hermann II, could not stand the son's defiance. He put Veronica to death and imprisoned his son in the tower of the old castle. Thus, the town of Counts keeps its own story of Romeo and Juliet. Backed by an EU project group, the municipality commenced in 2007 the project Knesi Danes Jutri, the Counts Today Tomorrow. The old castle. EU funding paved the way for the castle of Celje to shine again in all of its glory. The visitors of the old castle are overwhelmed both by its appearance and its additional offer. Celje, the third largest town in Slovenia with a population of approximately 50,000, is the center of Savinska region. Though strongly devoted to every aspect of development, it has kept the pulse and charm of an open and friendly European town. Preservation and revitalization of rich cultural heritage has become an important vehicle of the town's growth. Coupled with a stunning natural environment and varied offer of hospitality services, it has been a cornerstone of the tourist destination called Dajela Celska, the land of Celje. The old castle of Celje is one of the most prominent sites in the town.
A wide multi-purpose staircase doubles as spectator stands opposite the performance stage. The mid walls offer extra tourist infrastructure and the viewing platform atop of the refurbished Friedrich Tower affords stunning views of the town. The old castle, the defining feature of Celia's cityscape and the pride of the townspeople, has become alive again and it attracts many visitors. It has become a popular tourist, historical and recreational destination. The adults and the young can enjoy both sides of the old castle. It can be a time machine, taking them centuries back as they take part in medieval performances, feasts and workshops. Or it can be a modern place of entertainment, offering concerts, plays and other performances. It is also an ideal venue for celebrating special occasions, such as weddings, either in medieval or modern style. It is up to you to decide. There is always something to do at the castle and everybody is welcome.